In case you want to skip ahead in this video, here's what we'll cover. We'll start by looking at how these tools are similar. Then we'll dive into the pricing differences. After that, we compare each tool's security and compliance requirements. And lastly, we break down the difference between what each tool gives you in terms of the specific functions and features that they offer. You're watching this because you're trying to decide between Pandadoc or DocuSign. But before we get into the details, here's a brief disclaimer. We encourage you to do as much research as you possibly can and chat with sales reps from both Panadoc and DocuSign. We also might not cover every single capability or feature here. So if you feel like we missed something, leave us a comment or message us on LinkedIn to let us know. All right, let's get into it. Let's start by looking at the overlapping features and capabilities that Panadoc and DocuSign share and are pretty much the same. Both tools allow you to create and upload documents and send them to sign electronically. They both have embedded payment integrations, contract negotiation features, and document tracking and analytics. They are both top rated tools on TrustRadius, Captera, G2, and GetApp. They both have native integrations with all the major CRMs like Salesforce, HubSpot, Pipedrive, Copper, and Microsoft Dynamics, along with tons of other tools like QuickBooks, Zoom, Slack, Monday.com, and more. So if these are important features for you, rest assured, both tools are gonna get the job done for you. Okay, now let's move on to the major differences between both of these tools. First up is gonna be pricing, and this is a big one for most people. At the time this video was made, the two tools have some pretty different pricing structures that could impact your overall budget. But this might have changed, so double check with the sales rep to be sure. One thing to be aware of is that DocuSign uses a per document pricing structure with envelope limits. And a fun little fact is that you can't buy additional envelopes in the app itself. You actually have to contact a sales rep to do it. This might be a big deal if you run out of envelopes and you have an emergency document that needs to get out the door ASAP. Also, additional envelopes might end up costing you two to five times more per envelope than your original rate if you go over your limit. If you have a smaller team or you're planning to grow your business, these might be important factors to really think about. Next, when it comes to pricing, another major difference is the transparency in what you're getting with each tool. For example, Pandadoc is more of an all-in-one digital document tool. Pandadoc has a native drag and drop document builder, 24 seven chat support, and mostly free integrations. While DocuSign does have these functionalities as well, they are either separate products or costly add-ons. For example, Premier support plans typically cost around 15% of your total contract. Integration connectors are $18 per user per month, and their document editor is an additional $50 per month per user. Our recommendation is to consider how many documents you plan to sign and design on your own, and how important 24-7 chat support is when you get stuck. And also, how many integrations you'll need to pay extra for. These costs can definitely add up over time. The last noteworthy mention when it comes to pricing is what you'll have to do if you leave DocuSign. For many customers, if they wanna download all of their documents when leaving, you might have to purchase DocuSign Retrieve, which can cost an additional two to $3,000. Pandadoc does not hold your documents hostage. Your dedicated support team will provide you with a zip file of all of your documents upon request for no extra cost. If you're curious to give Panadoc a try, we have both a free 14-day trial where you can test out the full capabilities of Panadoc and a freemium plan where you can upload and send an unlimited number of documents for free. Just click the links in the description for more information. All right, back to the video. Next up, let's talk about security and compliance. DocuSign's been around the longest in the e-sign space, so they adhere to the highest level of global reporting requirements that are available today. They meet or exceed even the most stringent US, EU, and global security standards for electronic signatures. This could be really important for a select few industries or regions, such as government contracts, European GDPR documents, or cross-border privacy protocols. But for most users in most industries, here are the standards you'll get with Pandadoc that should cover all your privacy and security needs. eSign and UETA compliance, 
HIPAA compliance, FERPA compliance, SOC Type 2 certified audit trails, certified e-signatures, but make sure you talk with your sales reps about specific requirements for your industry. If you're unsure about this, because there might be instances where Pandadoc does not have the exact compliance needed for your part of the world or line of work. The last area that folks should compare Pandadoc and DocuSign is in their tool functionality. When it comes to integrations, DocuSign has been around longer. So as a larger organization, they've had the time and resources to build more native integrations. They have over 350, which is awesome. While Panadoc doesn't have quite as many integration, here's the full list of all the ones they do have, which most companies include the ones that you're gonna need. As for editing documents, that's a big feature we get asked about a lot. Pandadoc has a native drag and drop document builder that makes it super easy to create and edit detailed professional looking documents with embedded rich media like videos and GIFs right from your web browser. Pandadoc's professionally designed templates also make it easy for teams to create professional looking and eye catching documents that wow the end user. With DocuSign, you either have to build and edit your documents in an external program like Microsoft Word or Google Drive, or you have to use their separate editor for an additional cost with a user interface that we think isn't quite as intuitive. And when it comes to pricing tables, they both have dynamic automated pricing tables that you can generate from Salesforce, which is really cool for a larger sales team. But Pandadoc's interactive pricing fields have editable quantities and multiple choice options for the end user. That could mean a much better document experience for your recipient. Also worth noting, if you're not a Salesforce user, then you won't be able to use DocuSign's CPQ functionality. So here's the recap to help you make your final decision in comparing these two great tools. All in all, DocuSign is a wonderful product for lots of different business types and scenarios. Most notably, it's best designed for larger global enterprises that require the most rigorous global security standards for electronic signatures. But when it comes to pricing, DocuSign's add-on costs start to get pretty high and the envelope limits can be a pain in the neck. In certain industries, it might make more sense to use DocuSign, for example, because in the realtor space, they use it because of DocuSign's nationwide partnership with the National Association of Realtors, which gives them access to discounted pricing. It's a nice incentive for sure. With Pandadoc, you're getting essentially all the same features as DocuSign for contract negotiations, electronic signatures, and payment captures, just at a more reasonable and transparent cost that grows nicely along your growing team. Pandadoc also offers better live support at no additional cost. Their drag and drop editor is best in class for creating new documents that pop and pricing tables with great end user experiences. To wrap this up, here are three questions that you should ask yourself to prepare in making your purchase. Number one, how important is it to have a responsive support team for your e-sign tool when you run into questions? Number two, how important is it for you to be able to plan your budget with no fear of overspending? And finally, number three, what level of security do you actually need for the documents that you're sending? We hope this video was helpful. And if you have more questions, that's great. Both DocuSign and Panadoc have helpful sales reps that are eager to show you a demo and walk you through the best deal that fits your budget.